Diggs, huh? Yeah, yeah we're, we're excited about him. What are you excited about with him? Well, just uh, you know, watching the film and watching his career, he's a pretty explosive player. And anytime you have a team full of explosive players, that's pretty good. How can a guy, how can Bobby Wagner, as good as he is communicating, help Diggs through this first game, this first week? Well, it, it, it takes both of them. Uh, not one guy has to do all the work. I think that um, Bobby, as well as Diggs himself, being a, a veteran like he is, uh, uh, I'm sure he'll hit the books. I'm sure he'll learn the defense and learn the, the, the uh, calls that are being made this week, and he'll be ready to roll when it's time to play. How do you want him to fit into that group? and skill-wise, how do you want him to go into that room and that room? Well, you know, it's everybody's different. I mean, there's so many different personalities that make up a team. Just be yourself, show up, and make plays. You know, that's the best way to, to liken yourself in the group, coming there and being explosive and making a lot of plays. You make a lot of friends real quick. Are you able to get Pedrick and Blair and Diggs on the field at the same time, or is it someone going to be uh, it's hard to say. It's just a matter of competition. It's a matter of the fact that we're banged up a little bit, but uh, we want to get uh, the two best guys out there ready to roll. What do you express to the guys who are those two pretty in particular when the trade is made at their position and they might be feeling that, you know, they're all the same? Uh, we don't talk a whole lot about it. Uh, at this level, it's about performance. It's about uh, game day performance. It's about uh, making plays, and everybody understands the situation. Handled uh, his first start last week. Well, um, when you watched the first starts and the history of first starts over a long period of time, uh, you, you're very pleased with the with the direction. Uh, you know, he's explosive. He's uh, he understands what's going on. Obviously, you know, you can always improve, and that comes comes with experience. But when you look at first starts over the history of all, not bad. Do you, do you feel like there's there's more? With Bobby this year, he's had to deal with Clowney coming in week one, making sure he's good, and then Ziggy coming in week three, and making sure he's good. The, the pieces that have come in and out of this defense into the team, Jaron coming back, Quandre coming in, that it's been more of a burden for him to, to handle everything? Well, I don't know if it's a burden for one person. I think that, um, you know, bringing a team together is, is work in itself. But I think all these guys that we're talking about are veteran people. They've been, um, uh, Jay Reed especially, has, knows the group and uh, uh, really understands what we do. O other guys um, that you speak of, uh, just a matter of understanding how we, how we work, understanding of getting healthy. healthy has been, health has been an issue, so it's a matter of getting healthy and getting used to what we're doing and, and learn your plays, and then getting comfortable uh, in a place where, um, where you can make your plays. But football is, is not easy. I know some people think it's easy. It's a pretty hard game, and you have to really get into a comfort zone to get to your highest level. And it takes a lot of work to get there. Bobby said he had to retrain his brain to say the things out loud that he was thinking because he and KJ had such great, just nonverbal communication. Then last year, KJ gets hurt. He had to start doing that. How have you seen him up his game in that regard? I'm just going to help with Diggs and the guys. Well, Bobby has just been, if you watch his career like you have over the years, he's just gotten better and better each year. And I think that the more, uh, the better he gets and the older he gets, he, he's got to learn how to understand to communicate with different people at different times. But being the middle linebacker, the quarterback of the defense, on the offense you see the quarterback communicating with everybody. The same things on defense. You have to communicate with everybody no matter who it is. So it doesn't matter if it's KJ or Diggs or the new guy. It doesn't matter. If there is a play to be made, if there is a call to be called, there is certainly communication on it. So um, um, welcome to the big time, Bobby. That's what we do. What have you seen from the Falcons offense? I know they're overall Records not what they want, but right. the offense. The, the record is misleading. They uh, they throw the ball really well. They come out and try to challenge you in the run game. They've just gotten behind early in games and had to play a lot of catch up. But uh, they're very impressed with uh, with uh, with the skilled players. They can they can get you if if you don't uh, if you don't respect them. Running in your base defense with all three linebackers on the field has that worked how you hoped? What have the results been through seven weeks? Uh, we feel good with uh, it's about. It's about trying to get your best players on the field. Uh, we have three guys who can run around and make plays and, uh, and do a lot of really good things. So you try to field all 11 players with the most uh, best football players you can at one time. So uh, if it's about putting the best players on the field, then that's what we're going to do. When you go into a week not knowing necessarily who's playing quarterback, does it 
change how you prepare for a team, or is it just preparing for an offense? Oh, that's the offense, and then as, if the quarterback has been around for a while, he's got some film somewhere that we can certainly find out where he is. But, uh, you know, shaw has been around for a while, so I think that, uh, you know, he's got some good film out there, and uh, I think we have a good feel for, for what's going on. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.